Greetings! Today I've got something to compl complain about, um, yet again about Sony. Um, and yeah, um, I've got this pair of headphones uh, that uh, I wanted to use with my HTC phone or anything else for that matter. Of course they work perfectly with, uh, with Sony phone. Um, but strange thing happens when, when I plug it into an, a phone that's not Sony branded and um, to explain so the headphones come with a really short cable like this and they come with uh, a little remote that I've um, already opened and the remote has got a microphone on there uh, one button uh, and it basically plugs in and uh, yeah, and this, this has got a longer cable. So, you know, sometimes you get those headphones that uh, you plug them into your phone and they work fine, but you press the button and nothing happens. Um, I think Blackberries were notorious with this. You had to have a Blackberry headset and that wouldn't work on anything else or other way around. Anyways, those headphones, when I plug them into the phone directly like this with this short cable, they work perfectly fine. Um, when I plug in the remote control into the phone, pressing the button does something, so I long press it and it activates uh, some sort of voice recognition or, or whatnot, so, um, so that's fine. Um, I did have a conversation through those um, and the microphone is working fine, but uh, the problem is that when, when when those are plugged in um, they're really quiet and it's not the volume issue of the phone uh, because everything goes perfectly normal when I press and hold this button um, now strangely when the headphones are plugged into the remote and I press and hold the button um, no voice um, activation app starts on the phone so the phone doesn't acknowledge that the button is being pressed so let me maybe show you so when when I plug this in um, and I press the button you can well I haven't pressed it yet uh, the phone does recognize it's got the little headphone symbol so I press and hold the button it will start up yet yeah, listening please speak now and whatnot so fine this works now, the moment I plug in the headphones into here, oh, now it's started by itself, but now I'm pressing the button and holding it, and nothing happens. Now, I've never had that with any pair of headphones. Um, now, by the way, if I was to play music uh, through this, it will play, but really, really quietly. Up until I press and hold that button, then it goes um, full blast. So, um, sorry for waffling, but hopefully you get the idea. So, what I've gone and done is uh, I've opened up the remote and I started looking up because Sony is notorious for doing things a little bit different. Um, it's not only the headphones, there's a lot of things that are kind of compatible. Uh, but they are a little bit different to make your life difficult if you want to use Sony accessory with non-Sony product or or other way around that you get the idea. So what uh, what I've looked around uh, and what I've gone discovered um, this pin uh, this uh, this three and a half mil uh, jack has got four connectors and um, that's all uh, normal and the tip is the left channel uh, the next next one um, up is the right channel uh, then it should be ground and then the microphone connector um, and the ground is all commoned up so when I started uh, looking at this circuit board because there is not much on here there is literally uh, a few connectors there is five cables in here but that's just because the ground and it's yeah it's just separate by connects in the in the plug so those two are uh, just just bridged together um, what uh, 
what is happening uh, what sorry what's what's on the board is just a couple of cups of resistor uh, that forms uh, a little circuitry with uh, with the microphone and one resistor on on here and and really that's it um so what i've uh, what i've discovered is sony has swapped uh those last two pins so it's not left right ground and microphone it's left right microphone and ground and this is what's causing the problem so um there's somewhere over here 120 ohm resistor i think is this one um it doing something but basically when uh when i press the button it shorts that resistor and that's why the when the headphones start working correctly otherwise when the button is depressed it's um the the ground the return ground for the um headphones for the speaker in the headphones um goes through that 120 ohm resistor and that's what's causing the the volume to be so low um so yeah why are they being different um why not make things that work i mean i don't need to have a phone to like sony headphones right um they need to get it the customers you know often change products and i i've I personally really like Sony and I really like Sony products they're good quality uh, but it's so annoying when when someone in in a department decides to change something a little bit for for what reason um, yeah it, it will thankfully it's it's changed in terms of charges uh, but I if this if the charger plug micro usb or usb 3 or whatnot it wasn't regulated i'll i'll bet any money that sony would be even if every other manufacturer decided to do you know what let's standardize this and let's make uh, make all the connectors uh, the same sony would be right up there with apple with insisting on making some proprietary uh, connectors for the for their products and yeah it's they need to understand that this is not helping them uh, at all because um, you know someone might not have had any Sony products before but he sees a nice Sony pair of Sony headphones buys them takes them home uh, plugs them into whatever he wants to use them with and they don't work and that creates an instant bad impression that person is never going to reach for, an, for a Sony product again um, so anyways so let's uh, let's have a look uh, over here. I've got my evil meter, uh, and it's evil because every time you switch it on, it comes up with uh, not this time, almost every time. Ah, there we go. That's for just for saying hello. There we go. So, yeah, I know the that's a evil meter, um, but yeah, let's let's have a look. So, I'm going to connect the clip. The meter's on a continuity, so clip is connected to where the microphone should be, and thankfully on the board there is some description so microphone plus should be here and that's not it and there is a hundred the yeah that's the 120 ohms uh, to the ground as you can see There we go. So the neg microphone negative. Um, well, that's yeah, 11 ohms, but we can call that uh, short. So um, the negative from the microphone, so the black little wire. I told, I said before that those two get uh, bridged up in the plug. So doing a little bit more experimentation, 
When I plug in just an extension cable uh, to a free pin to eliminate the microphone contraption, this should be the ground, this should be um, dead short right now, uh, but it's not. Uh, but when I connect it to the outside pin, it is. So this is clearly swapped over. Now I think the microphone has got to be turned around as well uh, for this uh, for this contraption to work. I thought about this a little bit and the way around it, it's not that simple because um, the microphone negative and the ground are bridged over here to to this pin at the moment and I need this pin to be microphone positive um, so I can't use either the ground or microphone negative cable um, and the ground is also the sleeving for the whole um, whole contraption so what I think I'll do is I'll swap the microphone negative to positive microphone positive to ground and I'm gonna have to desolder the microphone and turn it around um, to because I think that's gonna be done as well uh, I'm not too sure but I'll do it just in case um, and I'll leave the ground unconnected and I'll see if that works I think that will that will do it but uh, yeah let's let's find out so First of all, let's grab a hold of those flimsy wires. Okay, there we go. Now I need to remove the ground. Why are they... Why are... What? You know, sometimes when you do stuff differently... Yeah, okay. You want to do stuff a little bit differently. Maybe it's a better way, but there is no reason why this should be... Should be done like this. So, I need this connected here. And this connected here. Now, of course, to complete the circuit, I need to bridge now um, the negative of the microphone and and the ground. So let me just pick up a piece of a piece of wire. Now of course this is just a microphone ground so this doesn't have to be any particularly heavy gauge but yeah just a thin uh, thin piece of uh, copper nice end of cable This should be okay now. Actually before, maybe I won't have to turn the microphone around. Let's let's actually see. So plug it into the phone. And I'll press and hold the button. That should still Yeah. Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hey, it still works, so I'm not gonna have to turn the microphone around but most importantly now if I plug in the headphones 
it should still um, do the same thing. So I'll press and hold it. Yes, one, two, three, success. And it even recognizes my weird accent. So, yeah. I'm not entirely sure how is that going, uh, what sort of effect is that going to have on the whole uh, sound quality. Uh, actually, let's, let's check. So, I'm going to do a quick test. Okay, so I did a little test and everything seems to be working perfectly. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, Sony, please um, learn how to make things that work with other things. Compatibility is the key. There we go. So, a fixed brand new pair of headphones. Let's do one final test. Yeah, so confirmed, uh, fully working, um, so all that was done, um, I have disconnected the microphone pins, both positive and negative, and Microsoft, uh, microphone, I don't know why I'm saying Microsoft, microphone positive has been connected in the in play, in this place for, of ground, microphone negative has been connected to microphone positive, and then Microphone negative and ground got uh, bridged, and the actual ground sleeving um, has been um, left out, disconnected, and that seems to do the trick. So, yeah, if you've got a pair of uh, headphones from Sony with a microphone evil device, and you're wondering why are they not working, and you want to fix them, this is the fix, and it's relatively simple. And Sony, why did you do it? Anyways, take care.